Hey guys, it's Vaughn, and today I'm revealing my patio makeover. I'm very excited not only because the outdoors are my thing, but because you guys have been there for this entire process. So let's reflect, shall we? Here is our yard. It's basically just an area behind a house. There was no privacy, no security, and all we had as far as furniture was this cute little bistro set that my sister gave me. And I actually love this little set, you guys. So everything that we shopped for in this process had to match that. We went browsing a few times and eventually finalized exactly what we wanted. At that point, the installations began. We needed to have the pergola installed first, and then I had to have some guys haul away that hideous basketball hoop. It took these guys like three hours to get this thing out. It was extremely heavy. Next, we got all of our deliveries from Menards, which consisted of our cooking equipment. And so today is time to build and install ourselves. I love this kind of DIY stuff, you guys. I pretty much did all the technical stuff and built everything inside the garage, and I left all the heavy lifting to Anthony like the countertops and moving this stuff to the actual backyard. So why not just build this stuff in the backyard you ask? Well sis it was hot as hell. This set came with chairs but I actually preferred some stools that I saw in Menards that were part of the same collection so I opted for those because the woven material kind of seemed to match a little bit better with our theme and these were super easy to put together you guys a child could have done this. Once I was done with the stools it was time to go ahead and arrange everything in the backyard. It was kind of starting to come together at this point but still a lot to do. This pub table that you see us working on right here originally came with an amber colored reflective fire glass material. We opted for the specific blue color because I felt like it would look so good when lit. It would kind of look like fire and water. So we are just popping this in here and making sure that we clear the area where the fire is going to come out because if you don't then you're going to have glass flying everywhere. We had to learn the hard way. And then you know my dad can smell that we were over here building something so he came over right away to kind of help us and just oversee the process. Also just make sure we were being really safety compliant. We had two propane tanks to install so he definitely helped us with that because we don't know nothing about that part. So Dadum's got us all set up with that. Next in this process, you guys, was for us to have a utility locator agency come out and identify all the areas where there were utilities underground so that when the guys came out to install the fence and started to doing the digging, they would be able to avoid those areas where there were utilities under the ground. It's actually somewhat illegal to dig without that. So make sure you guys have that in place. Now it is time, you guys, to actually see the finished product. So come on in. Nothing defines a yard like a beautiful privacy fence and we did not realize we had so much space back here until this fence got installed. I grabbed about 12 of these little $2 solar lights from Menards to kind of illuminate the space at night and we ended up going with Home Depot for the fence and they did a beautiful installation and the fence has a lifetime warranty attached to it. So allow me to walk you guys through everything that's back here. So as you peep our little cooking area here, what I wanted to do was try to embody all of the comforts of indoor cooking outside. As I mentioned, I'm a very outdoorsy person. I was raised by two people who are military veterans and they love to camp. So it was all about being able to cook outside but still having the comforts of indoor. So this entire cooking scenario is from Menard. Do you see my little stools I built? They fit so nicely for a pub table. And speaking of which, this is a clay porcelain table, you guys. So it is meant for all outdoor conditions. It can sustain whatever. It's a beautiful color. It matches with my little bistro set. So I'm in love with this table. So a little piece of my mom's input was definitely Definitely the aesthetic piece so I definitely wanted to plant some flowers these are mums you guys they are a beautiful orangey reddish color perfect for enjoying your yard from all angles had to have some firewood because my dad got me this cool fire pit we love burning wood it's a great smell and feel and it provides warmth in the fall I wanted to create a cozy conversation corner in my yard where you can enjoy an intimate coffee or tea to restore the seats a bit I added these cushions from Ikea and this teacup set is so special to me because it was a gift from my sister these were my bridal shower favors i think overall this bistro set fit in perfectly i think the more potted plants on your patio the better i think i don't even have enough but the ones that i do have i got from ikea and these pots i got from amazon i love the tropical look i think these are called the majesty palm 
My favorite part is the area underneath the pergola. I think anytime you set up a patio space, it should reflect like the same feels as like your living room or what the inside of your house feels like. So you guys were with us when we were shopping for this set. We ended up ditching the original pillows and opted for this blend of different textures and patterns just to make it feel more, I don't know, stylish. And then I added this textured throw, which I think is a beautiful addition and also really functional because it does get cool at night. All the plate settings are from Pier 1, the fake plant is from Home Goods, and the glasses are from Target. I love this type of deep seating because you can get really comfortable, but also you can sit upright if you need to. Also, this table is what they call a conversation table, so it's the perfect height and width for card playing, talking, or eating. The perfect family functional table. And then I added some string lights, you guys. I got these from Menards. They were really affordable and they were actually on sale because the end of the season. So I just strung them all around the pergola, which is made out of solid cedar. And this structure was perfect for us because it's an open air pergola with a retractable shade option. All of the furniture, including the rug and the pergola are all from The Great Escape. My little lantern is from Home Goods, and the pillows are a mixture of Ikea and Amazon, so I'll link them below. And I just love the vibe that I've created back here. It's not too formal. It's perfect for just chilling with a magazine or working from home and watching my kid play. But at night, it's a whole different vibe, so I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like right at dusk, which is the best time to be out here because it's not too dark. And when the lights are on and all the candles are lit and the fire is going, it's super nice. This is the perfect place to unwind with a glass of wine, entertain guests, and just enjoy the evening breeze of the summer or the fall. I can't wait to come out here in the fall and light my fire. I'm probably gonna enjoy my patio a little bit longer, probably um, somewhere in October, we'll start to shut it down and cover everything, put everything under the tarp and call it a season. But for now, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy this. So overall, I am loving my patio makeover. We have come such a long way. I definitely wanna do more for next year, like landscaping and I want to do some pergola curtains but for now I think we're good comment down below your favorite part and special thanks to my mom and dad for helping us and I'll talk to you guys in my next one bye